Time is truly our most precious commodity. Here's how I spent mine. If you're just eating quality food, this is the diet where I had. What? Real innovations. <laughs> As I sit back and relax and wait for people to bring me breaks or food. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, mobility. Um, Cause he was just talking about Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome to, if you're new, my name is Abria Perry and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog, y'all. The focus of today's vlog is optimizing potential. I think that all of us have so much inside of us. God has written out every single plan, every single step, every single blessing for our lives. And sometimes it is easy to get off track and get ourselves and get unfocused or distracted from that fact. And then we start chasing our own tails. And to get back to that, all we have to do is to focus back in on what God's word says, what his promises are, and executing in the ways in which he has called us to execute. For me, that looks like one, prioritizing my health, which... Um, I have been not feeling my best and I think that there are some uncontrollable factors that are contributing to that or some factors that I'm not aware of, but there are also some factors that I am more than aware of and I know that I have the potential to be in a better place and even beyond that. So we went back to the gym today. We went back to my normal trainer. He had gone away um, in the fall unexpectedly. He went to the military and then I moved. If you are new here, I am in a brand new house. I purchased my first home this year and that was a big transition. Um, I got a promotion at my full-time job in the fall and I work full-time in tech strategy and I love it but there was a lot of movement and I also run a business <laughs> um, I'm a content creator so there were a ton of things going on and the springtime is really like my new year um, but not New Year in a sense that I am overwhelming myself with new things or all of these goals um, that I now want to attack. But I'm giving myself the opportunity to focus back in on what I know works. And it's that snowball effect, like just continuing on being consistent, giving yourself grace, giving yourself time when you need it, but also not using that as an excuse to not optimize potential, not to not optimize the potential that God has placed in you. So we went to the gym this morning. We are diligently working, had a wonderful, wonderful meeting earlier that was focused around kindness. We had a company come in and talk to us about kindness and I loved every single second of that. So that put me in a really good mood. We're gonna finish out our work day 
and then we're going to take a nap because part of optimizing my potential right now is ensuring that I am taking the best care of myself and that means more rest for me. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a nap at the end of our day. Then we are going to head to a little happy hour later. It is beautiful outside. And then I think Nate and I are gonna go and do a little date night. So we'll get dressed later. We'll chit chat a little bit more, but just wanted to come in and say hello y'all. If you're new, my name is Abria. I run a brand called Finn Style that is designed to empower and encourage you to lead a passionate, purposeful, and pliable life enabled through financial literacy so that is me welcome i'm so happy to have you let's finish this work day all right y'all so it is later in the day and so we are about to get ourselves together i don't know if i'm gonna make it to this happy hour y'all I don't think I'm gonna make it to this happy hour. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. I had to take a little rest. I had a little take a little rest after work. Um, my nap was longer than intended. So we might just get ready for date night. And if anybody is still at this happy hour, maybe we'll pop over. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna get dressed and we'll be dressed. And whatever else happens. We want to reach our full potential in all areas, y'all. So that includes our relationships. So we are getting together so we can go for date night. They and I have honestly just been in like such a busy season. Um, we've definitely been spending time together, but we haven't been exploring as many new things together as we would like to when it comes to like intentional date nights where we're actually planning something like a lot of times it's kind of like tell me if y'all can relate if you're in a relationship it's like he is my boyfriend he is my partner he is my future you know but he's also my best friend so it's like there are days when we do stuff and we just chilling like we just hanging out spending time with each other because that's my dog and then there are times when it's like okay it's date night um and we've been spending a lot of dog time together um but in terms of like oh you know let me get all cute let me get like yo put on my little day night outfit um it's been a minute so that is what we're getting ourselves together for makeup is coming together i think that similar to my health it's like my health has not been what i want it to be my skin has been breaking out and sometimes you just you know Looks are not everything, right? They don't mean anything about what's inside of a person's heart and part inside of a person's spirit and soul. However, it is okay for you to care about the way you look. Like you should care about the way you look. You should want to take care of yourself and take care of your body and the temple that God has blessed you with. Um, but Y'all know, particularly as a woman, like depending on where you are in your cycle, depending on what's going on with your skin. Like I've been dealing with hormonal acne, which is something that I have never dealt with. Like I have never had acne ever in my life. So this has been really new for me and it's been off and on over the last couple of years. So it's kind of like every time I think I know what's going on, I don't. Um, every time I think that I have it handled, what I was doing isn't working because it's not a skincare thing. It's a internal thing. So yeah. So with that in mind, you know, sometimes you don't want to put on makeup. Like I haven't been wearing makeup as much as I usually do. Cause I don't want to be irritating my skin or anything like that. And if I am wearing makeup, I'm washing my brushes even more than usual. Like you're supposed to wash your brushes a lot, but I know I'm not the only one who will use the same brush a few times. So, and usually it's not a big deal because like, you know, I'll kind of wipe them off in between or whatever. But now it's like, my skin is like, girl, don't play with us. So we're, we're, we're getting ourselves together. We're doing the things that we know work for us. We're doing the things that we know make us feel extra special. 
and we are focusing on optimizing our potential and being the best person that we can be, being the best that God has called us to be. So let's finish this makeup, pick out an outfit and go out. All right, y'all, we're ready. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready for date night. Not really date night, date late afternoon, early evening, whatever we want to call it. Here's the look. We got on some old Zara pants, top, Zara jacket, and then, ooh, child, don't look at my robe. Uh, shoes, our Gucci platforms, bag is over from Amazon. Simple jewelry. Let's go hang out. All right, y'all, we had to make a quick pit stop because when I was in Austin a few weeks ago for South by for work, um, I left a piece of my equipment. And one of my new friends that I met in Austin who happened to live in Atlanta so kindly brought it back for me. So I came to pick it up. Um, our schedules just kept missing each other. So now I'm finally picking it up. And it's actually my, what's it called? It's my like glass mount. Like I use it on the car. I use it um, on mirrors, like in the bathroom and stuff. So whenever you guys see me doing like a view where I'm talking to you in the bathroom, it's sitting on the mirror. This is probably my favorite gadget ever. Um, and I haven't had it for the last couple weeks. So I'm excited to get her back. Usually on a date night, we will be keeping the main thing the main thing, but we have not been able to keep up with each other and they are on their way out of town tomorrow so it was like a little bit of an hour never type of a deal <laughs> y'all we are back from date night it was so good we had so much freaking fun we went to this new restaurant called marcus's bar and grill um i think that they have i think he said they have them in several different states i'm detangling my hair and then also oiling my scalp if y'all are like what is she doing i'm using the mayo rosemary oil i like to interchange between the pattern serum and the mayo oil this is good for like you know hair growth like actually like treating my hair in my braids um and i like to use the pattern more for like my scalp and just to kind of like soothe my scalp with my braids in um so i usually oil my scalp a few times a week um and I will swap oils. So those are the vibes. Um, but we went to this restaurant called Marcus's Bar and Grill. And um we had gone to this brewery next door for Nate's birthday last year, and I saw the Marcus's Bar and Grill, and I was like, wow, this looks great. We definitely need to go back and check this out and then I just forgot about it so today when I was scrolling the top um so today when I was scrolling the clock app I was like oh that's that restaurant and we decided to go girl little did we know today was their one year anniversary so they were having a whole party. It was a whole thing. It was packed out. There were so many people there. Um, they had a DJ. It was so fun. Like the vibes were high, full of beautiful black people. Um, so it was wonderful. It was my type of party. Um, food was good so they were doing like a buffet style which I'm not a big buffet girl because I can't really eat 
in volume like that's not really my thing large quantities of food make me nauseous like seeing large quantities of food makes me nauseous um it kind of makes me lose my appetite i don't know if anybody else feels that way but that's how i feel um but luckily it was like a nice buffet so it didn't make me feel like that i just can't eat that much so it's usually like is it worth it but at a restaurant like that it's like by the time you get an entree and an appetizer you're basically at the same price and everybody else was eating the buffet so it's like who knows how long it was gonna take for us if we wanted to like order a normal meal. Um, like I'm like, are they even cooking normal <laughs> portions right now? So we went ahead and did the buffet and everything was good. Um, and it was nice because we did get to try out, like basically the buffet was the entire menu. So we got to try out a, a bunch of different things. And now when we go back, we know what we want. So what we like, what we didn't like. So we were able to try that out. So it was beautiful. Let's take this makeup off, y'all. I usually take my makeup off in the shower, but I'm going to take my makeup off at the sink so I can take it off with you all. But I like to take it off in the shower because I kind of feel like taking your makeup off can get kind of messy. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe I'm a child, I don't know. But I like to use the Clinique take off the day ain't nothing like her she is that girl I'm gonna take off my lip first like what oh wow I look like the joker that's crazy First, I like to just do like a rough clean. I also use the Clean Skin Club Clean Skin Towels. I've been using these for years now. Swear by them. Like, if I run out of these, I notice an immediate difference in my skin. Because even if you try to use a fresh towel every time you wash your face, like, Sometimes the towels themselves have just been contaminated by being in the closet or touching other things or whatever. And my skin is already acting like shit ever since. Okay, so once all my makeup is off, um, sometimes I get the really, really big container of this, like a couple times a year in the Sephora sale. They have one that's literally like this big. I'll get her. Um, but I used my last bit of my really big one and had to pick her up. But I think we're about to hit the spring semi-annual sale, if I'm correct. So I'll re-up on all my faves. Honestly, I just choose the Sephora sale to stock up on my holding grails. I really don't be experimenting. Quite frankly, I don't be experimenting, period. I'm not going to hold you. Every so often, I decide to try a new product from a line. <laughs> 
that I already use, but when it comes to my skincare in particular, especially with the issues I've been having, girl, I, I gotta I gotta do what works, okay? I can't be out here testing. I gotta go with what works, baby. Makeup is off. My allergies are acting up today, y'all. Mainly my eyes. I have a little bit of a sty. I get those little, really, really small. Ugh. Those little tiny baby sties. They come on the on my eyelid. <laughs> Um, whenever my allergies get really bad. And I was scratching it earlier, so I think that irritated it. <sighs> I'm gonna put my allergy eye drops in. Try to help myself. So I know I needed it. My eyes are hurting from my allergies, so they obviously needed that little TLC. Okay, I'm gonna get myself freshened up and then we will do the rest of our skincare. Um, but I don't wanna put it in and then it all just melt off in the shower. I'm gonna go in with my Dermalogical Ultra Calming Toner. And then also my Dermalogica, actually, that is not what I need to be using today because I already used that. I'm going to go in with my La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo. This is what I've been using for the few blemishes that I do have and to try to stop new ones from wanting to come particularly along my jawline that's really the only place that i get them i don't use too much of it this la roche la roche this dermalogica age bright serum is really good it's an active clearing serum so it helps to fight the pimples and things that you do have but it also helps to promote cell turnover and stuff so you can get rid of the dark marks that you have from other stuff um and then i like to use my skin fix barrier cream oh god my eyes are so dry i would usually put on my eye cream but because my eyes are irritated by my allergies like I don't want any of this to potentially get in my eye like sometimes just if anything is too close to my eyes it will irritate them even if it's like not necessarily I'm allergic to it it'll just irritate them um people with, with allergy know like if you know you know so that is basically it this is a very simple evening skincare routine I find with my skin the simpler the better um especially with what it's going through even if it even in its prime the simpler the better but particularly when it's going through something um we gotta keep it calm keep it cute that's it Time for bed. 
Um, not really though. I'm about to give me some grapes because I could use a little something sweet, but I am really trying to be diligent and selective with my sweets. So we're gonna go have some grapes instead. Um, and tomorrow we're gonna wake up. I might go do some cardio, probably go do some sort of cardio. We need to plan our meals for the week and place a order from Costco. And we need to do some fence style work. So that is the plan. I also need to clean. Um, so I need to do my weekly reset and I might do that on Sunday. Um, if Nate is up to it, I might also ask him if he, we can go to Ikea or something because my closet is so off brand, y'all. It is so off brand. I had two closets in the apartment, one of which had a lot of racks. So I used to, rather than having a dresser, I would keep a lot of my stuff folded in there. But in the house, I don't have that. So I basically cut my drawer space in like more than half. Like I took away like three fourths of my drawer space um, or what I used as drawer space. And because of that, it has caused a very egregious situation in my closet that is very off brand. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like I am not one of those people where like the closet is the place that you know has chaos. Like no. Like there are times where there might be chaos somewhere else but my closet baby, she's together. And she's not together right now. And we need to get her there. So we may or may not go to Ikea. We'll see. So I key by myself, I know that much. So if Nate doesn't want to go to Ikea, then we might save that for another day. Um, Cause I need to go to Ikea on a day that he is with me and or he is nearby where he can help me get the stuff and then bring the stuff up all the flights of stairs that I have in this house. So yeah. Um, but we got to do that when he feels like helping us because you can't be asking for help, then try to force people into it. <laughs> so let's go get our grapes, um, plan out a few things for tomorrow. And then I will pick you guys up tomorrow. I think we're going to go out tomorrow night. Nate got invited to an event. So, um, I think that we might go to that in the evening. So I will bring you all along with that. We'll, I will bring you all along for that. And then Sunday, we will see about church. We'll see if we go in person or if we watch online. We've gone in person like the last month or so. Um, so I don't know. We might watch online. We'll see. But for now, it's time to relax. I got all ready for bed and did my skincare and now my body is like slowly shutting down. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Sit. Are you stretching? Hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Saturday morning. It is Saturday morning. I'm having a smoothie. This is just vanilla protein powder with a berry blend in it. I made it the other day. And when I make smoothies in the actual big blender pitcher, I don't know how to make 
just enough. So I always make too much. So I put it up and we're drinking it now. I try not to let it sit for more than two days. So we had to drink it today. Nate just sucked his down. I don't know how you drink that that bad. It's so thick with two C's. Capital T, two C's. <laughs> um, <laughs> please stop me. I am deeply unserious. I hope if, if you all learn, take nothing else from these vlogs, know that I am a deeply unserious human being. Like I really just feel like we take life way too seriously. Have a giggle. But anyway, we're gonna drink this smoothie. Mm, I think I'm gonna make a little bit of oatmeal and we'll have some oat, um, clean up a little bit and then go do some cardio. So those are the vibes. Happy Saturday. High five. Yes. Sit. That was down. <laughs> Good sit. Down. Yes. There you go. All right, y'all, workout is done. We went for a walk and then did some sprints on the field. To the military, we were doing sprints on the assault treadmill, um, which is hard within itself. Um, but I haven't done sprints outside. Sometimes we used to run outside, but more of just like a steady pace jog. Um, so I did some sprints, didn't want to overdo it, so I did like five, so I may have done like, um, maybe like 250 meters, eh, probably more than that, I don't know, I didn't pace it out, um, I started to pace it out with my feet, and then I was just like, honestly, girl, it's okay, we don't have to be type A, okay? Just run the sprint, um, you know, run full speed, get your heart up, heart rate up, and we'll call it a day. So I worked out yesterday. Today I just wanted to do a little cardio. We're doing three, uh, three lifting days, two cardio days, two rest days. Um, like active rest days. One active rest day, one full recovery day. Um, so those are the vibes. That's the plan right now. I have some goals that I want to hit. Um, I've spent a lot of time focused on like overall wellness, right? Like how can I eat better? How can I take care of my body, my mental, um, yoga? Like how can I take care of my mental? Like I said, 
breath work, stretching, like making sure that my body is physically well and getting what it needs. Nutrition, I did the She Trition program, which is by Chantal Taylor. 10 out of 10, highly recommend it. Um, she really helped me to food, to heal like some food trauma that I didn't even know that I had. Um, so that was definitely a blessing and I've definitely been keeping up with that. But now, and, not a but, and, I can focus on being physically well, everything being in order while also having like physique goals. And that's something that I've struggled with with a long time. Like, yes, I, like I'm grateful for a healthy body. I'm grateful for a body that can move. I love my body very, very much. And I can be content with where I am and grateful while also being like joyfully optimistic about my potential and what I could be um, and what it could be. So that is where I'm at. Like I have physique goals and I am not afraid to say that. Like I have always had a very athletic build um, and in that same vein, it's like if I go outside of my build, it can look very bulky um, like if I'm not eating right, if I'm gaining weight, like I, I know where I'm going to gain the weight and it makes me look bulky. But when I am cut and I am lean, my body is very athletic looking. Like you can be thin or lean and not necessarily be athletic. Um, like I have broader shoulders when my shoulders are built and my back is built. Um, it frames my sides nicely like I've never been particularly hippie so I like for my waist and my back to be snatched because that kind of helps with my proportions um my legs have always been able to get really toned really easily like my legs are where I can shape and kind of like where I have the most control if you will um or the area that kind of changes the quickest I mean it's also the biggest muscle in the body so like that makes sense um but nonetheless those are the vibes um I ran in the grass would not recommend if you have allergies if you have not been dosed up on your medicine I have been going hard with my allergy eye drops my medicine and my Flonase so I felt okay doing that today um and I actually feel fine it was nice to just like be outside for a little bit um so yeah I actually enjoyed running on the field more than I probably would have enjoyed running on the track so it's okay that I didn't find a track um but that's even something that I'm working on when it comes to like optimizing your full potential I think that it's like it's beyond doing the hard thing it's doing the inconvenient thing because oftentimes we convince ourselves that the convenient thing is the better thing and sometimes what's convenient is not the best like it could be good it could be okay but it's not the best so I drove around to three different tracks before I found this field and also sometimes you don't need what you think you need to get the results that you want so I'm thinking, okay, let me go find a track. If I find a track, then I could also, you know, run on the turf if I want to, if there's a field. Couldn't find a track that was open. So I came over here like, okay, I'll just go for a walk, forgetting that there was a whole field behind the turf because the turf you can't get on, it's locked. Um, and the field turned out to be the best thing for me. Like it was better on my knees. I wasn't in the hot sun. I wasn't on that hot track because I forget what that material is called but the rubbery material that a track is made out of is literally like it drinks heat like and it holds it um I don't know what's worse a track or turf quite frankly um my athletes know so yeah moral of the story do the inconvenient thing you will thank yourself later. Like, do the inconvenient thing. It is most likely what is best for you. So now let's go home. We'll eat. I think I might make like a late brunch. 
that hash from the other day was so good. I kind of want it again. Yeah, I think I want that. Or maybe we'll make a burrito. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go home and eat some food. And then um, we're going to clean the bathroom. Because life hack. <laughs> I like to clean the bathroom when I come back from a workout. Because I'm already sweaty. I'm already dirty. I'm going to take a shower anyway. Might as well clean the bathroom and take a nice hot shower in a super fresh, dazzling bathroom. So that's usually what I do. Um, a couple times a week, I'll wipe down the bathroom before my shower. Today, I need to do like a little bit of a deeper clean. So we're going to go. We're going to get that out the way. Mm. Then we're probably going to take a nap and not go home with y'all. All right, y'all, we are back home. We're about to make some food. Oof. Okay. So we're back home, about to make some food. I'll show y'all what I got from the store. Nothing crazy. I haven't been keeping that many like processed snacks in the house, mostly just fruit and stuff. But I did grab some kind bars because I like to have these, so I got the big ones and then I got the little ones because I like to keep these in like the car and in my pocketbook so if we ever hit one of those emergencies then I got these crunchy plantain chips these are so good they used to have a spicy one like a habanero one that I would eat and then I just couldn't find them anymore um so I saw these so I decided to pick them up and try them out <clears throat> They're pretty good. They're gluten free, vegan, non dairy, no nuts, blah, 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 blah. No trans fat, no cholesterol. The sodium in them isn't too high. Um, they really are just, they have four ingredients, five ingredients ish um, green plantain, sunflower oil. I actually have three ingredients green plantain, sunflower oil, and lime. So they're pretty, pretty good. So I feel like if I want, something if I'm feeling a little snacky I'll be able to have those then we're about to make some breakfast tacos I got some corn tortillas I prefer the La Tortilla factory ones those are my favorite but Publix doesn't sell those and Sprouts has been out of them for some reason and then I got this vegetable slaw because I'm going to make some shrimp tacos later and I'm going to put that on those so it's a taco -y type of a day um, I find that it's a good way to just like put a whole bunch of things that are good for you together and have an easy meal. So let's make some food. Then we're going to clean the bathroom, take a shower. We'll probably edit a little bit and do some work in bed, um, which I try not to do, but I'm going to make an exception today because we got to do what we got to do. But we will do that and then we'll take a little nap and relax until it's time for us to go out later and hang out. So that's the plan. Those are the vibes. We're putting everything together. I cleaned out my pantry the other day. This pantry is actually so big and I don't even have enough stuff nor do I need stuff to fill it with. But I did clean it the other day, and it's so nice and organized. It's not aesthetic, but she's functional, and that's what I care about. Oh, I also got some grits, because you just always need to have some grits in the house. Myself, it's just interesting to see, like, me getting gains. Five pounds. I'm going to another cut. So now, now I'm getting it. That's why I'm saying the car. Okay, that's the one that's What's up? Looks like lots of new items on the menu. I would say if you go to Test Bulletin, please try out my best chicken. That chicken was a 10. I don't fool with a whole lot of stuff. 
stuff. So me, I'm not like the best food critic because I'm just really picky. Anywho, anywho, I am settling down. It is a new day. So y'all, it is later in the evening and we're about to head out to this event. It is with a company called Mifflin. I have on some MM6 Margiela jeans with some Nike waffles. This top is from Awake Mode and I love her because these are all like not so basic basics. And then I have on this Hanifa cardigan and my Valentino rock stud. So this is the look. Let's go out. I tell y'all that nap brought me back to life. All right, y'all, we made it. The event we're headed to is in Atlantic Station. So we are walking over now. Let's see if we can go find it. Yeah. I think I like, which one you like better? This one or this one? The Mifflin event was so nice. They're gonna be there for the next few months. So if you are in the Atlanta area or you're gonna be in the Atlanta area um, and you are a style lover or a black owned business lover, you have to go check out the Mifflin house. 10 out of 10. Um, so that was so fun. I got a sweater and I also picked up a baseball cap. It's a bull. It's a wool. Bull. It's a wool baseball cap. So um seasonally, she's going out right now, but I will have her in my wardrobe for next year. And it was sold out online. I've seen it and it was sold out online, but they had it in stores. So I was like, let me go ahead and get her while I have her. Mm. When you get in the car, you got a cold thing of water. All right, y'all, we made it home, and it is, it's pretty late. <laughs> it is well into the morning at this point. Um, I think it's like one something. Let me tell y'all something. I have not had ice cream in months. And we went to Jenny's, so in the longest Jenny's line of life. Like that was literally the longest I've ever stood in line for Jenny's. And we got to the point, it was, we, was, we were already pushing it when we got in that line. Like we were already pushing it, but I didn't realize how late it was when we got in line. Cause we went to a late night Jenny's. And then the line took a long time. By the time we got the ice cream, ate it, Girl, I was like a 
setup, I, I set myself up. I absolutely set myself up. <laughs> but it's okay. We ball. I ate it. Um, and I will deal with the consequences. <laughs> Whatever those might be. Um, so we are just about to get ready for bed. We're gonna go to sleep. We're not gonna go to church in person tomorrow. We're going to watch online, which is more than okay. I am working to not be so militant when it comes to uh, discipline and consistency. So we are working to be flexible, to be pliable, to give ourselves grace and accept the grace that is extended to us. Those are the vibes. Let's take this makeup off, get ourselves cleaned up, and into bed. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye.